A lot of people ask me what my weekends look like, what my day-to-day -day life is. This is the very first video blog, and today I am at the Ralston Arena in Ralston, Nebraska, because I am going to St. Louis tomorrow. I've snuck in the show earlier than usual, snuck up on uh, Spring Creek model trains over here, got on one of their carts and snuck in so I could buy some stuff ahead of time, and boy did I. I got quite a few items. They're setting up for the show here. And I got some awesome deals on auto racks. I've been looking for these. 20 bucks a piece. So, got a ton of those. And then I bought some stuff from Dave, too. Spring, Spring Creek always has some great train show deals. And uh, I got some, a lot of AM, ARM in uh, refrigerator cars. So, about nine of those. An exact rail, three in Atlas, and some Atlas KCS hoppers that just recently came out. These are Kansas City Southern Pressure Aid. So, sorry, there's a little zoom or focus problem there. I'm using my phone because I didn't expect to film the video. But yeah, this is uh, the arena, and, and that's about it. So, I'm going to head now. It is 5.20, and I've got dinner scheduled with DJ's Trains. There's his card, so I'm going to be having dinner with DJ, and then I'm heading to St. Louis tomorrow to film on the What's Neat podcast, and What's Neat show with Ken Patterson in St. Louis, so I'll pick up the video with that as well. All right, well, that's it from the Ralston Arena. Let's continue my weekend here and see what we got. All right, got my backpack all ready to go, my JLW shirt for the show. I have a couple shirts for train shows and such. And we're about to go out the door. Now I'm taking this with me to show off on the Ken Patterson show, but it's a custom dome car UP 2066 by Harry's UP Nebraska division. There's his information if you want to know more about it. But yeah, I'm taking this to show it off on the show because I don't have the skills to do this type of stuff myself. So it's just going to be show and tell for me pretty much. Cannot leave without my Diet Coke. We're gonna hit the road. Get out of here. Go down to St. Louis. Maybe sneak in a couple stops before we get to Ken's. So here's the deal. The sky has some clouds in the area. And some rain in the area. I am feeling like a gambling man today. So I prepare to turn right. Have to slow down first. And then I'm going top down. It's a bold move, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off. Six and a half hours later. All right, here's the deal. I did not make it. I was just about two miles short of hitting rain, but I saw it on the radar, so I stopped at a rest stop, put the top up, and therefore had no problems with the rain and the top. Now, I am at Mark Twain Hobby Center. As you can see, it did rain on that car. We're going to go see what's in here and uh, what is in the store. I don't know if I can film in here. I don't know if I'm even going to ask. But again, this is just a vlog about, you know, my life outside of being in the basement. Man, it is getting hard to see me as I continue to tan all summer. Just got out of Mark Twain Hobby here. Overall, pretty decent hobby shop. Uh, it focuses on all hobbies, not just trains. So you've got model planes and a lot of other hobbies in there. A small to medium section of trains. All I bought was this Athern ready to roll car here. I'm gonna go check into my hotel and then I'm gonna head over to Ken Patterson's so we can set up for what's neat podcast 
whenever we're filming, I don't even know really. All right, I don't know if I ever told you guys this, but when I was in high school, I worked at a seafood place called Captain D's. And now that I'm down here in St. Louis, they have it here because they don't have it in Nebraska. There's also my second favorite place for in my hometown, which is Lee's. They are side by side here in St. Louis. I'm literally gonna have a heart attack. No, not because they're both here, because I'm gonna eat them both. Yeah, I'm gonna get fatter. All right, we are here, and as you can see, Ken's got a beautiful view of the river, and there's tracks below. It's got G-Scale Garden Railroad he's working on. These are some of the things he usually shoots his horizon scenes with. You know, the things you see in magazines and such. So let's go inside. All right, we're in Ken's palace behind the scenes. Chris Palamuhu. Just bumping my head. And uh, Ken's hiding out back there. He doesn't want to be seen. He hasn't put his makeup on yet. This is what's going to keep me alive tonight after I ate Captain D's. And that is Ruffles potato chips in case I start, my stomach starts growing. With the microphones being that large, they were probably. And then this is the real thing. This is the sugar in a liter of cola, liter of Diet Mountain Dew. I'm going to be hopped up on sugar tonight. Running around like a cat on crack. These are the uh, G-Scale USA trains. They're pretty sweet. Uh, USA trains, G-Scale auto racks. Sorry, I didn't finish my thought there. What's really cool about these is they got real chains going on here. Look at that, real chainage. The doors open up really easily. You can put some G-Scale cars up in there. All right, maybe not so easily on this side. There we go. But yeah, it's, these things are cool. They're about 300 bucks a piece though, so kind of pricey, but it makes you want G-Scale, or makes me want G-Scale. And back here, you got KCS. Some more of these tucked away TTX reporting marks on the bottom. There's that big old jig that Ken uses to get some sweeping shots. I don't have any of the cool stuff. I just have my hand. That is my tripod. I have a tripod, but it's about 40 bucks. So it was a quick sweeping view of the layout. Just one end, but go to my video if you want to see the whole layout tour. So he's working on lots of cool stuff. Train running going on with Daniel Coombs here. This is the Broadway Limited Paragon 3 ES44AC Tier 3. Now this is just re-released. So another release of these from Broadway Limited. Heavy pullers. You can see it smokes as well. You can turn that off if you want. But pretty cool overall. Right now we're on Ken Patterson's layout pulling a tank train load. Probably not prototypically accurate because this is typically pulled by SP, but yeah, we'll take it. James <laughs> Wright, is that you? Yeah. How's Brother, it what, what's the cameraman over there doing over there? Hey! <laughs> hey, firing shots. Pew, pew. Uh, James, that's a nice engine, brother. I was overhearing what you was saying. and I Great stuff. All right, guys, pay attention to this logo because this is Sugar Fire Barbecue, and they actually have a location in my home state of Indiana, but the location, local location here St. in St. Louis, which is where it started, right? Yes. Yeah, great stuff. So 
I'm trying out some of this. I already took some bites and it's good barbecue. Excellent barbecue. And I'm a barbecue connoisseur, so be sure to check those guys out in St. Louis, Kansas City. They'll be bringing food. Let's look at the FUD there. Yeah. Yep. So, good stuff. I've already tasted it, so I can tell you it is good. I wouldn't lie to you. Food review. First one on YouTube for me. Right now? Why do I have an E flash? Don't worry about that. We'll get a new camera coming. Just as long as it says record, Dirk. Does anybody on running camera have bad reflections on this big screen? I feel like I'm turning these lights. No, I'm okay. Good. Nope. Good, good, We're good. good. Okay, guys, this is for real now. You would hope. We're going to keep this professional happy, happy. I gotta get my notes out. Oh, you guys sound good. Here we are. Listen to that. Is that all too loud for you guys? No, it no. sounds fine. It sounds fine. Wait, hopefully. Does that sound okay for me? Should be. Oh, we already checked. Three, so, okay. wow, two. Wow. This is the What's Neat This Week podcast, number 38 for June 9th, 2018. Thank you to everybody for joining us this evening. Get your tea and hot coffee. And we're going to talk about the best hobby in the uh, was it? Yeah, that was an amazing model. Um, in scale, detail has not been uh, as great in the past as it is now with scale trains. Tier 4 Jivo, just amazing work, um, amazing model. Uh, a lot of the close up shots kind of look like an HO scale model. That's how much detail was Thank packed you. into that. And the sound was good too with that ESU sound decoder. You do a good job now. Well, I'm not a master model railroader, but I am staying in a Holiday Inn Express tonight. So with that said, that's gonna wrap up basically Friday and Saturday vlog, kind of showing you guys what happens on a weekend. It was a busy weekend, so not my everyday weekend kind of vlog, but something to keep you guys occupied at least on video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time right here on my channel. It's time to go edit. Take care.